नमस्कार एंड वेलकम बैक टू सिमिलिया द क्लासिकल होम्योपैथी क्लिनिक दिस इज डॉक्टर मुंजारे ठाकर एंड आई हैव सम वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग पीस ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन एंड सजेशन स्पेशली फॉर द यंग होम्योपैथ्स माय असिस्टेंट डॉक्टर वुड आस्क मी व्हाई इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू to read the proving while all the symptoms are given in a small book like allen's key note or uh, boger synoptic key or even boric my answer to this is that reading boric or allen's key notes is like getting the headlines of the news and reading the proving is actually getting the story heard from the prover himself or herself it is a difference like between a news headline and a grandmother's story let me give you an example of this as we all know that the important symptom of the remedy lack caninum is delusion sees snakes that is what our materia medica the small materia medica gives and the repertory gives but if we read the actual description of the prover from herring who has proven this remedy first and i will read this out and you can see the difference and experience the difference he says sensation of delusion or a delusion as if surrounded by myriads of snakes some running like lightning up and down inside the skin some that are inside feel long and thin and she fears to put her feet on the floor lest she should trend on them and make them squirm and wind around her legs is afraid to look behind her for fear that she will see snakes and does not dream of them and is seldom troubled with them after dark on going to bed she was afraid to shut her eyes for fear that a large snake the size of her arm would hit her in the face now this is the experience of the prover and you read a single line of delusion snakes and you see what is the difference it is you are actually experiencing the suffering of the prover not only it improves the understanding of the remedy but also a recall and the retention of the remedy suffering which will be helpful in your clinic so my suggestion to all the budding homeopaths take some time out to read the proving to read the description in the words of the prover himself 